Motor Week is made possible by Rock Auto, Tire Rack, and Die Hard. Your host for Motor Week, John Davis. Well, hello and welcome again to Motor Week. We're glad to have you with us. Without a doubt, some of the most popular and innovative automotive designs of the last two decades have come from Chrysler. Some of them were highly versatile trend-setting vehicles like front-wheel drive minivans, while others have been radical envelope-pushing cars like the Plymouth Prowler and the Dodge Viper. But their latest design anomaly, the Chrysler PT Cruiser, beats them all. Outrageous retro looks over one of the smartest, most practical interiors ever. Well, that's the hype, but are the facts just as cool? Well, let's cut through the hype and look at those facts. And people will look at you, too, when you tool by in a Chrysler PT Cruiser. Its funky retro styling combines the full-fendered look of American sedans of the 30s and 40s with the hot rod aesthetics of the 50s and 60s, all filtered through a 21st century design studio. And while the PT may look big, it's actually quite compact, being loosely based on Chrysler's Neon. Length is a mere 168.8 inches, but the wheelbase measures 103 inches. While width of the PT and Neon are almost identical, the PT is far taller, measuring 63 inches from the bottom of its 15 or 16 inch tires to the top of its raised roof line, and providing this hatchback's rear view with a chunky bread van look, which translates into a remarkably roomy interior that, despite the cue ball shifter on the five-speed PT Cruiser, is totally modern in function. Yet the smooth three-section dash still manages to blend easy-to-use Chrysler hardware with a few other retro touches like the hot rod steering wheel that still cleverly hides the airbag and the deep-set individual gauge pods. Along with the five-speed manual, a four-speed automatic is also available but without the cue ball funny stuff. But the real family fun of the PT Cruiser interior comes from its versatility. In standard form, this is a five-passenger people mover. But open the rear doors and hatch and start pulling out the seats, and the PT becomes a cargo hauler par excellence. All but the driver's seat can be folded, removed, or both to make almost all of its 120 cubic foot interior volume available for bulky loads up to eight feet long. If you're thinking hot rod outside, minivan inside, you've got the PT Cruiser concept down cold. An available five position cargo shelf adds even more versatility, and it even doubles as a picnic table for tailgate parties. Of course, hauling requires power, and for that, Chrysler equipped the PT Cruiser with the same 2.4 liter twin cam four cylinder that's standard in their traditional minivans. Ratings are 150 horsepower and 162 pound-feet of torque. In our five-speed test PT, we found it to be surprisingly lively for a four-banger and more than capable of pulling the 3,123-pound PT around. But we can only imagine how much more excitement the GT Cruiser Concepts 200-horse Turbo 4 might provide. Our first turn behind the PT Cruiser's wheel was in California, where custom street rotting was born. No surprise that everyone on the street noticed us while we were noticing how easy the PT is to maneuver. Throughout our drive, the PT displayed a solid, predictable side that's more minivan than hot rod. The longish wheelbase gives a smooth ride, with relatively little front plow and lean in corners, especially for such a tall vehicle. That's due to careful tuning of the McPherson strut front suspension and innovations in the rear twist beam axle with Watts linkage. Brakes are disc drum with all disc ABS and traction control available. It's a friendly, easy to get used to package that leaves plenty of room for modifications by today's front drive performance specialist. And we know it will get modified. Are there any guesses as to how long before someone tries to stuff a Hemi V8 into a lowered PT? Do I hear 15 minutes? It will happen quick since PT prices leave plenty left over to spend on everything from turbos to fat tires. Base for the 2001 Chrysler PT Cruiser is only $16,000 and that's with freight. 
add power accessories and folding front passenger seat and pay $17,140. Step up to the top limited edition with 16 inch rims, leather and a sunroof and you still shell out only $19,995. That's serious style for peanuts. And like serious style, the PT Cruiser is just too cool to characterize. It's not car, nor minivan, nor hot rod. But it is going to be another screaming winner for Chrysler. And those are the facts, Jack.